Hey you guys, I am back. Trader Joe's haul video. You guys, I just went to Trader Joe's, ate all my food, fell in love with Traders all over again and decided, you know, it is worth me driving 45 minutes each way to get groceries and come back. So I wanna give you guys a haul. Guys, tell me how I spent $150 literally on the dot. I'm like, bro, what did I get? <laughs> what did I get? A whole bunch of stuff. So I don't know why I brought all of these over here. It's some space. But thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment down below with your faves from Trader Hose. And I'm gonna actually make this today. I got this in my last haul, you guys. Obsessed with it. It's their vegan meat lovers style pizza. It's the crust for me. It's so cheesy and creamy and it's coconut based. So I'm here for this. I got two of them because I want to have one now and then save one later for in the week. And I already know I got a lot of frozen stuff and I'm praying that all of the things I got fit in my freaking freezer. So I'm gonna clean out my freezer and get rid of the stuff that I feel like has been in there for a while that might be freezer burned. So I gotta go ahead and do like a little cleanse of all of those things. And I actually couldn't find all the ingredients I needed to make specific meals. So I kinda got random items i thought this would be really good for those lazy moments when i just want to heat something up and i don't necessarily want to be preparing a full-blown meal so this is a meatless penne style pasta and it just has like a tomato base so if you wanted to bulk it up you know you could add like some chicken breast to it i got some of this i haven't had this in a while the chunky spicy salsa i wanted to do tacos but I was looking for the, you know, those little taco packs they have. They were all out of stock. So I need to go to a different market to find some seasoning that isn't, what's that major taco brand that everyone gets in that kit? That stuff makes my stomach hurt so bad. So I have to get organic seasonings or just get regular spices. So I got some diced onion to go on my tacos that I'm planning on having. And then I also got another one of the mandarin orange chickens. This I actually get two meals out of it. And I've actually been adding it with the frozen brown rice from Trader Joe's and then adding like a bag of, um, it's like frozen, frozen stir fry vegetables. Mix that with the orange sauce, it is so good and you get so full. So I love that. And it has like water chestnuts, broccoli, carrots, all that good stuff in there. I also got some more of these gluten and dairy free homestyle pancakes. These are amazing. I think there's like three or four different servings, but I like to add some frozen blueberries, microwave them for like 30 seconds so they get warm and melted, add some vegan butter and then some maple syrup and girl, it's dessert at this point. So that's been like my go-to thing. And all of this is like the proteins that I got. So I picked up the grilled chicken with the balsamic and the rosemary. I got two style deli meats. One is just roasted turkey and then peppered turkey. Basics. And tell me how I saw this. This is like a new meal prep that Trader Joe's came out with. I saw a sign that said new. I said, oh, I need to go get that. So it literally has like two compartments here. And this is their grilled chicken with rice and veggies. And it's a, a full bone meal. It says it has flamed grilled chicken breast, seasoned rice medley with kale and grilled zucchini, yellow squash, red bell pepper, and onions. It says heat and serve. Perishable, keep in the fridge. 460 cows for the whole container. And they did a whole nother one as well with like a wild rice, but I didn't know how I was gonna like it. I'm sure I'll love it. So for meal prep, for me, girl, I'm excited. 30 grams of protein. So if you guys have seen these, let me know what you guys think about them. Y'all know I'm here for the laziness. <laughs> and then for my tacos, since I didn't have any luck getting the taco seasoning, I got this, which is a chicken asada made with grilled chicken breast, cutlets, um, portobello's. I can't read right now. I'm so hungry. I've been driving um, all over the DMV trying to get these groceries for you guys. <laughs> um, red bell pepper and onion, and it looked really good. Again, I can heat this up and then add it to a tortilla. 31 grams of protein per serving, two serves per container. So I love stuff like this where I can just heat and then assemble. It just makes my life so much easier. So I'm excited for that. I don't think I've ever had that one before. I have tried their chicken fajita, which that looks very similar. 
um, and that was in LA so I'm thinking maybe the locations just have different items out and available so I got some more vegan butter always need that and I got a lot of protein because I thought I was gonna make my own tacos so I'm gonna have to throw this in the freezer and these are just some like grilled chicken or oh my god, ground chicken that I'm gonna saute and then I also got some chicken soup. I love these for the evening time when I want something brothy and like salty and savory. So I'm happy for that. And then I also snagged some kombuchas this week, which I haven't been on my kombucha grind for so long. But girl, I'm trying to get my life together, trying to get my gut to a happy place. And this is just a probiotic tea that's fermented. So I got the Health Aid Kombucha in Tropical Punch, which is so good. And I believe I got a second one I did to have this week. And I also, y'all, we love this spam colors. Declined. I also snagged one of these. This is a mango smoothie. This I remember being on the thicker side, but also just being sweet. If you like mango, you'll definitely love these. I thought I was going to have it on the way home, but I couldn't find it. It was in some of these bags somewhere, so I just gave up hope on that. And then one of you dolls actually commented, since you know that I like this coffee brand, that I would like this like pre-made latte, and it's oat milk based, and it's a draft latte. So I think this will be fun to try out tomorrow. And does this have sugar? Two grams of protein. Yeah, 11 grams of sugar, so it's already sweetened for me and basically ready to pour over ice. So I only got one just to try out because I'm on my own like iced coffee cold brew kick right now that doesn't need to be like changed up at all. It's so perfect and so yummy. So I'm happy with that. <sighs> I think all my money went to the protein. Seriously, I'm trying to figure that out. So these were new as well. This is a Carolina Gold style barbecue flavored ridge cut potato chip. The guy checking out said that these were really good and they do have soy as an ingredient, but for the seasoning, um, it has like mustard, um, onion powder, molasses, so basically just barbecue flavors, soy sauce, all that good stuff. So I'm excited to have a new chip option. I also snagged a bag of these organic corn chips as a snack as well i'm having like a salty tooth right now so i'm excited for this i actually picked up um something to go with it but i can't find it right this second here we go some salsa this is my favorite thick and chunky organic salsa bomb you guys have to snag that when you go and then i also just wanted to stock up on a pasta sauce i recently tried this out by recently i mean back in april <laughs> when this came out in store and I remember it being so good it has a nice little kick a little bit of a spice to it and it's their chunky tomato and pepper pasta sauce so I highly recommend you guys snag a bottle and try it out for your next pasta night um recently I'm kind of into like meatless pastas like just doing spaghetti noodles and then throwing a sauce and calling it a day it's just really easy and sometimes I'm not always craving animal protein for example I'm also back on my kick of having my lemon water every day, so I'll just wash one of these really well, roll it out, cut it, squeeze it in my water, add a little crack of pink Himalayan salt. Really helps to keep me hydrated throughout the day and retain the water, so I'm not like constantly drinking, 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 and I'm not thirsty just because it's so hot outside. So, gotta get my electrolytes in, you know? That's my little hack. And then I also saw these. I feel like they might be new. I don't know, but it's a classic English muffin, and these are dairy for you guys. I could have swore they all had dairy in them, and they had a bunch of different varieties out. So what I thought I could do is to turn this into a snack and actually top it off with some of this, which is an organic raspberry fruit spread. These are all super affordable, by the way. And then spread some of this, which is the sunflower seed butter spread. This one is a sweetened version. They have one without the sugar, but this one honestly tastes better. So kind of make it like my version of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but nut free and dairy free. <laughs> so I'm going to try that out. I haven't had it, but it just sounds like it would be a good combination. And then I also ran out of my honey. I love to put honey on literally everything if I need to balance out some flavors. I like it more so on like chicken rice bowls and stuff or if I'm making carrots for a veggie on the side, I like to add some of this, some butter, some salt, some pepper, mix it all up and it's a good time. So, they have a great selection of honeys that are really good quality. This one's pure US grade A. 
so yeah i find honey to be very expensive and then the last thing i got was a recommendation from the britain snow effect on one of her grocery hauls and i thought this would be a good side dish to do with a chicken rice bowl or with my tacos that i'm gonna do with this chicken asada this is a mexican cowboy pinto bean and it's ready uh to eat basically you just microwave it for a minute and it's simmered with tomatoes green chilies and spices and there's no can, so we love that. I don't have to rinse my beans or drain them off or anything like that. It has jalapeno powder, green chili peppers, pinto beans, tomatoes, garlic, onion, avocado oil, salt, and cilantro. So very clean ingredients and 13 grams of protein, 200 cows for this whole pack. So I'm excited. Throw some rice on here, mix it all together. I feel like that would be a great side dish. So I feel like I got a lot of stuff and we're still not done. Ooh. Okay, and then I also snagged another kombucha which I popped open in the car. This one's really good. I like the Synergy brand and the Guava Goddess is so nice. So I forgot how much I missed having kombucha in my life. And I also picked up one of these wraps. I thought I was going to eat it in the car, but y'all, I was in a rush to get home. Oh, I need to put these things away really quick. Uh, but this is a tarragon chicken salad wrap with chicken meat, celery, almonds, parsley. Oh, I didn't know it had almonds trying not to have almonds in my life it's fine i don't eat enough for it to really trigger me uh parsley tarragon romaine lettuce and a flour tortilla so for a quick lunch grab and go girl i think this will be a great thing to have and um maybe i'll eat it today i got some peppermint tea which is fantastic for your digestion and if you eat a big meal helps to settle your stomach a little bit so you don't get bloated and then I also snagged some rainbow peppercorns and some pink salt. A few more things, you guys. Some corn tortillas. These are so different than the ones I'm used to buying in LA. I could not find the regular ones I would get. But again, I think it's just the locations. The items do vary. And then I also got some snacks for the children. I'm not going to say the word because they're all around. But they all love these so much. They're nice and soft. And then the last thing, this is just some organic ground beef. Again, I was going to make tacos, but I could also throw this in a rice bowl with these pinto beans and call it a freaking day, you guys. So that's my $150 weekly grocery haul slash healthy meal ideas. Trying some new things out this week, and I'm really excited about all the options and the variety and the laziness that is here. So I'm not over here chopping and prepping and washing and just preparing five meals a day. So I will update you guys in like a weekly vlog as I continue to like make these things and show you how I prepare them and if I would recommend the new items. And I'm just counting down the days <clears throat> at this point for pumpkin season, which is creeping up very soon. So if you like Trader Joe's like me, you're obsessed with the fall time, make sure you guys subscribe because I'll be dropping a fall haul Trader Joe's edition the second that everything arrives. So I'm excited for that. So I'll see you dolls in my next video very soon. Bye!